Hi friends, today I am back with one more simple recipe. I am going to show you how to make aloo bengan dry sabzi or potato and eggplant. It's a very easy and quick recipe. So let's see the list of things required for this. To make aloo bengan dry sabzi, I have taken 200 grams of eggplant which I have cut them into small pieces and soaked in water so that the eggplant doesn't change its color. 200 grams comes to around 6 to 7 small size eggplant. One medium sized potato which I have diced. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, two pinch of asafoetida or hing, quarter teaspoon of amchur or dry mango powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, half teaspoon of homemade ginger garlic paste, quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of coriander and cumin powder mix, some chopped coriander leaves, and I have taken some curry leaves. Let's start making this sabzi. The oil is hot. I added two tablespoon of oil. And now first I'm going to add some asafoetida or hing. Mustard seeds. Allow it to splutter. Add eggplant. Be very careful while dropping this eggplant. You can drain out the excess water and then drop it. The oil might splutter. Now add potatoes, mix it and allow this to cook for some time before we add the garlic paste. I'm going to cover this, you don't have to add water, let it fry with oil. Once the aloo bengan is halfway done, I cook this for 6 minutes and now I'm going to add ginger garlic paste. Give it a mix. Why I didn't add water? Because if you add water, the potato will not get a crunchy texture. And now we take out nice crunchy texture here, this one. And that's the reason I didn't add water. You can add water right now because they are halfway done. Let the ginger garlic paste fry nicely. And then I'll add little water. Add little water and allow this to cook till they are completely done and then we'll add on all these spices. <coughs> this looks almost done. Now I'm going to add all the other masala. First I'll add some curry leaves, coriander and cumin powder, turmeric, amchur powder, Red chili powder, salt, mix everything nicely. Now allow this spice to cook and wait until the aloo bengal is nicely done. You can check for salt at this time. I'm going to cover it and allow this to cook. <coughs> this looks ready. It gets ready in less than 15 minutes. Only thing is that you need to add a little more oil so that the eggplant and potato fries nicely. And now I'm going to garnish with some chopped coriander. If you think the potatoes are not cooked, you can add some water, more water and allow it to dry. Give it a mix. Turn off the gas. Serve this aloo bengan dry sabzi with roti and enjoy. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching this recipe.